and all my good friends wherever you are. Let us believe and pray therefore and share the word of God shortly with you. Father, thank you for this moment I'm going to share the word of God with your people. Lord, use me as a vessel towards their life in Jesus' mighty name. I pray and believe. Amen. Amen. My good friend, can you endure the test? At times, we are tested just to prove our stand with God. Remember that even Jesus himself was tested. And Jesus overcame many things which even you, you can't overcome. But it's good to be tested, to remain strong. It is good to be tested, to be stable in Christianity. The Bible says this way in the book of Mark, Matthew, chapter number 4. The Bible says, Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. Jesus was tempted by the devil. Now, ask yourself, between Jesus and the devil, who is great? Here we see, God gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ. And now the Jesus is being tested by the devil. Why did Jesus allowed by God to be tested by the devil? This is a sign to you. To show you that in your Christian walk, devil can come in a means of where God can send the devil to test you, to know your mind, to know if you can still stand with God. Here, Jesus, listen to this word. The Bible says, after fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he's, he was angry. The tempter came to him and said, if you are the son of God, tell those stones to become friends. In your life, there are things which are hard at times. When you tread, at times in your house, you are even you don't even have money to pay rent. Now the devil can come to you and tell you, go and con someone, go and bribe to pay your rent. That's how the devil uses. I'm giving you an example how the devil can enter you, Christian, if you are not that stable with God. You can go and bribe someone. You get money, pay your rent. You say, hallelujah, God has provided. That's not the way of God. Temptation are there, but walk in the right path. Temptation are there, but listen to voice of God. Temptation are there, but in the situation in order to overcome. The Bible has said here, then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. He was led by the Spirit and the Spirit, the Spirit of God. Remember that the devil is just waiting for your downfall. Your downfall is his celebration. Your downfall is his big thing before God. But how will you overcome it? By sticking to God, listening to God, reading the word of God. When you read the word of God, you will endure. When you read the word of God, you will overcome. My good friend, overcome, overcome by leaning in God, trusting in God, praying and praying to God. Father, I thank you for the word. Bless your people as they keep on moving. Let them keep on moving with your word. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. You are there, not born again. I want you to repeat this word after me. Father, I come before you. I am a sinner. I have sinned against you. Write my name in the book of life. Remove my name in the book of darkness. Starting from today, I want to follow you. Starting from today, I want to stand with you. Thank you, Jehovah, for your salvation. Thank you, Jesus, for this new day you have made unto me. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray and believe. Amen. Father, I pray for that person 
who have prayed the prayer. Lord, redeem them. Walk with them. Thank you, Jehovah, for your salvation upon them. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Shalom, peace of God be upon you. But remember one thing. Temptation are there. If Jesus was tested and you overcame, what about you? Keep on standing still. Trust God in Jesus' mighty name. You will overcome in Jesus' name. Shalom, shalom, peace be with you. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah.